Okay, this is our weekend up at the cabin. A lot of work. I'm telling you like 16, 20 hour days. This is the front wood pile fire pit we did a lot of work on. That is a five inch well. Alex Tin. Hello. Glad it rained. We got to put in a couple of drains. French drain will do with that. All the way around. We just dug a little trench and we're gonna end up having to uh, take care of that. And it saved it. This cabin would flood for the, uh, because it's on a hill and it has a retaining wall that is coming apart that needs to get put back together and they didn't know better than to put a trench in the front to get proper drainage with this new metal roof. Water comes pissing down and it just goes right onto the porch and then into the house. Um, everything needs to be graded properly. Swales, we will do some swales later, but I'm gonna give you a little tour on the inside real quick because it's been a long weekend and we are tired and want to go. Nice living room. I just threw up some real quick makeshift uh, curtains. Fix those a little bit. I know it's a little messy. Don't mind. Pellet wood stove. I bought some pellets, but I gotta do some reading about the auger. That is a uh, secondary heat over there with the this is the back door. We'll come to that in a moment. Really nice uh, area there. I don't know. I'm going to paint that pipe better, but this is a bathroom. None of the, I haven't turned the water on yet. That'll happen. Sorry, it's a little dark in here. This is the second bedroom, which I'm using as a makeshift utility room. And in here is a really rigged well with the bladder, uh, with water bladder, but water tank was left in there and I do have to have um, that, that electrical box on the wall there. It needs to be uh, wired properly and put facing the other way in the room. This is a uh, on-demand can't find the switch to that. That's an on-demand water heater. This is a real quick peek to our back patio from this uh, sliding door. Keeping everything really like private. Sorry you guys, sorry about the video. So here we are coming out. Shut this light off. Okay, here's the kitchen. I'm gonna do a new sink actually here because this is where the septic tank drains out of. They put a sink over here, but that's just a gray water sink. Not what I not optimal, not code probably either. This is a huge patio, which took a lot of work to clean. There's those double doors. I've got some work to do around here. Big patio. I'll give you a second view. That work needs to be done down there, but I had to dig a little trench here. We cleaned all this patio. It was a huge mess, and we're going to use all these stones for a path. We're going to repurpose everything we can. This is an old well that we dug out. Of. It's about eight feet deep, and we got down six feet. We're almost totally done. They shoved all sorts of garbage in there. Just incredible. Found out where our well is. I'll show you that in a moment. Or not our well, I'm sorry, our uh, septic tank. That our neighbor over there, Will. That's his camper. He's just uh, having that temporarily. 
for his, uh, that's a cabin for his daughter, he said. His own words, I might not be able to send him to school, but I'm going to buy them a house. This is uh, the uh, whole other yard. I'm going to try and hide all that with some trees growing. There is the second lot. We cleaned all this. It was filthy. Alex and I worked like dogs and we cleaned everything. This is, we just discovered, that's where the septic tank is. And we marked it. So we're going to clear that out and have someone come over. Wow, Alex, this really looks good. I, I thought that that uh, rain, getting all this done, we'll take care of these slabs. Oh, this slab looks great. We'll take care of these patio stones later when we get back. What a great looking slab. Put a kick-ass garage on this. Heck yeah. Here is our new tree line. I planted a couple uh, pines. They're little along here. There's another. Here's a pan view of the lot. The house. Needs a lot of work. Tons of leaves. These oak trees, these huge oak trees, need a little trimming so they don't crush our roof, but they put out a lot of leaves. This house, look at this. This is my neighbor. Oh boy. Oh boy. Are we up north or what? Anyway. Here is more of the border of our lot. There's a stake up there that is indicative of our lot line. There's more pines. Um, that's going to be a nice bush. I think we're going to pull that out. Mm, I think if we, you'll see it'll be nice and trimmed. I just say let that little bench stay in there or else you'll end up ruining the tree trying to uh, get it out. Yeah, I, want it to stay in there, but like... I say just let it stay in there and it'll grow right around it. No harm done. These are look like they're oaks. The stumps have been chopped down, but they're growing on the sides. So I like that. I hope they're oaks and I hope they're not uh, elms or ashes because of the diseases they get. All those trees that I planted, um, well, got, got a drenching of a watering today. Yep, this was all, there's a second fire pit and a second well, I re-roofed that. And this is all the extra lot that I got. Another little pine, we got some Either lilies, tulips, or crocus. Not sure. It's both of these lots, a bunch of garbage. Hopefully garbage day, they take that stuff. It's And last but not least, this is a driveway that will go down, a camper. We can bring our camper down here. Have to hook up electric to that outside socket. It wasn't working, but this well, I redid the top of it. I found some spare shingles on the yard and uh, we made use of it. This porch, we're gonna rip up. Gonna try and repurpose some of these blocks. I'm not sure with how or what. Beautiful big stones. Really impressed with this, oh shoot. With this place the more we did stuff the more i th you know thought the potential it had all these little trees i took about five or six little pines that were growing in here and did the planting with them okay you guys sorry about how long it was a nice 10 minute video maybe youtube will get a couple commercials out of this Hopefully. and maybe i get paid i've never done that before but this is also behind, here's a couple of the little trees I planted. I want it, and I left the, some other trees here, they're tiny, so that we can not have to see all this other stuff. I'm going to let this grow in so we don't have to see our neighbors. 
because they don't keep their yard very nice. No offense. Yeah, no offense should be taken, but you know, the truth is the truth. What is what it is. It's no not, not judging. I just don't want to have to look at it. All right, you guys. We're going to do something nice with this patio here, too. All right, Alex is ready to go. Signing off. Yep, he's cute little chipmunk, tiny. That's a chipmunk, not a squirrel. He's tiny. And these are all going to grow in here so you don't see nothing. This is Probably another bad. 20 feet. Yeah, this will be where Titus can dip his feet. <laughs> Titus is turtle. And we can give him baths through there. All right, you guys. Signing off. Let's head out. Let's get out of here. All right. Get out of that. Skedaddle. Skedaddle. Here's our trench. And our friend Lester is going to do the roof again. Or at least re do, do the things that the other owner who gave it a college try but didn't know how to do things did his best, but his best wasn't good enough. Sorry, guys, I really love this place. Can't stop looking at it. Anyway, our wood pile. All right, we're signing off at the Demore's cabin. It's 2022. Yep. April 23rd. We took possession two days ago on Friday the 22nd. Talk to you later. Signing out.